What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? My name is Taylor Noble. I'll be joining you today by myself. Today we have TCM going against Killer Fish. Let's get on board with uh, right away with. Uh, let's get on board with Killer Fish. See what Killer Fish can do now. I've watched. Um, TCM several times before, and uh, they've always been able to impress. Marky B always goes off, as well as Rich and Monksy, uh, some very strong players on their own. Let's get on board with Monksy, actually. He's currently inside his hard point, gets taken out. It's going to leave Killerfish to keep taking it over. For some reason, I don't have that minimap on the right-hand side. Let me uh, just set up my settings real quick and get this going. Try to get some perks as well and see what everybody is running where's my mini map there we go mini map is up and let's get the uh other one as well but anyways guys who do you think is going to take this you think it's going to be tcm or killer fish i will be solo casting for today so uh please bear with me as hopefully it'll be uh, some great matches but anyways as i'm looking right now i'm looking at the overhead map score is currently 10 to 6 we're about to be rotating over back to that table's hard point it is in fact going to be killerfish who has a good spawn tcm did not even try to push up now they do have control currently of the score currently 15 to 10 but tc or excuse me killerfish is going to be taken over that hard point back there in the table's position in which we do see that but uh, tcm is known for breaking the hard point relatively well as we see benq rich already back there and we see tcm already breaking that anchor position so they have anchor and they also have the spawn for that so it's definitely in an advantageous position to keep extending their lead now let's get on board with marky b now this man's going off on a six kill streak gets taken out but i do believe he earned some score streaks i actually can't see him right now hopefully he does have the same he was on a six kill streak he's probably got a hellstorm and a lightning strike on board with Ryder now. He's currently uh, controlling this little skip section. Has two people ahead of him trying to get contested. Let's see if he can do some work with this MSMC. Now, it's interesting. He's using that MSMC uh, as it did get patched. Now, a lot of people would switch over towards the Scorpion or an AR gun, but this guy is choosing not to. But he's been doing some work with it so far. As I pull up the overall scoreboard, so far the score is 64 to 14. TCM has totally been dominating this game. Marky B going seven and two. Monksy five and five. Dead, dead even rich. Three and four. And Ryder seven and four. And we look at Killerfish. Nobody really standing out to me other than Gun Elite, who is the only person on their team going positive, but he does have five captures. What I'm seeing right now from Killerfish are just not playing the objective as they need to be. TCM is definitely playing the objective role, and because of that, they have the advantageous position position on them just about every time but you know what's interesting killerfish even when they do rotate early it is tcm who can break those hard points relatively easily and then flip the spawns so they're definitely the better players now riders on an eight kill streak totally tearing it up he has been going off for this team he just was on a nine kill streak he's going to earn all of his score streaks interested to see when he's going to use that uh, right now tcm's not in any danger so they don't need to pull out those score streaks but you know what it, whenever the thing is whenever they do need to pull them out they have them in the bag to pull out so uh they definitely have a great position can we do a listen in uh let me know buddy if we can do a listen in and then we'll uh hop on board with tcm right now to see what the communication is like and then see what killerfish is doing but just tell me in the chat if we do have that option available and if we do that'd be great which we can get that going oh they're in party chat well that sucks that is what it is as they typically do that. Great stuff on your part. I'm on board with Marky B. He's got the War Machine out. Contestant is back. Alec does get a War Machine kill. Great stuff on his part. Going to come in here. Uh, looks like he's spamming, but gets taken out. He's not going to be able to uh, win that gunfight there. That's going to leave Killerfish to keep trying to close that deficit that TCM's put on him. Still 95 to 50, though. But uh, Killerfish seems to be getting a... Uh Great comeback here. I'm actually really impressed by how they're doing it. They're locking down these hard points when they need to, and they're starting to win those gunfights. Maybe a little uh, pre-stream jitter is what was affecting them. That gun elite currently on a one kill streak. I'm on board with him for Killerfish. He's going to be putting some bullets with his MSMC over there at the graves, but he's not going to be able to connect. Now they need to get those last remaining nine seconds. Now look at the score. It's relatively close now. It was a blow away at the beginning with TCM taking the lead. But now the score is, in fact, going to be 80 to 90 or 79 to 96. Still going to be TCM to be in there. Let's get on board with Marky B, see what he can do. He's taking some bullets from the left-hand side. He's got the M8 out. Let's see if he's going to be able to do some work. TCM taking over this middle hardpoint, spamming through that wall. Does get an assist, so smart plays on his part. As I'm looking now, it is, in fact, going to be uh, TCM with the advantageous uh, spawn back there on the uh, 
uh, table section. Let's get on board with Ryder. This guy's been going off all game. Why not get on board with him? He's currently on a three kill streak, trying to work his way up towards some more uh, score streaks here. Uh, he's looking for that spawn flip, as he should be. It looks like uh, you don't want to overextend over their past mechanics, or else you'll flip that spawn. And if you do that, you'll lose the anchor. But Marky B is doing a great job holding it down. Gets contested from that right hand side, gets taken out, and that's going to leave Kivy in there on a two kill streak, taking it over. So Killafish again, trying to uh, get those scrap points. Just about 15 seconds remaining for that. And as a look at the overhead map, it is in fact going to be TCM dominating this next hard point as well, as they do have the anchor position. And they have control of that hard point. Let's get on board with somebody who's going to be in there. And it is, in fact, going to be, uh, looks like, Gunny Lee from Killerfish trying to get it. But And actually, look at this. Surprisingly, Killerfish is, in fact, going to take it over and flip those spawns. Totally against the grain of what I was thinking. TCM usually does an excellent job with holding it down. But Killerfish seems to really have TCM's numbers so far. So I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. You know, Killerfish had such a slow start. But at TCM, though, really, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know if it's their rotations. I don't know if they're just not winning those gunfights. Uh, but we'll find out later on throughout the game. Let's get on board with uh, Mike right now. He's currently inside here, throwing a Simtex over to the right-hand side. Knows he's getting contested, gets taken out. It's going to leave TCM in there to get the right, last remaining scrap points. But uh, already, Killerfish has rotated over, and they're trying to control now the anchor. We're going to see someone, uh, that's going to be Mike over here, trying to contest that brick side. Does, in fact, get a successful kill. And uh, if we pull up the overhead map, we're going to see a nice little control here. We got Graves being controlled for Killerfish. We have the left side brick side being controlled, and we also have someone over there in the hard point. So with the switching over there, though, there you go. It's going to be Killerfish Rocks, who's going to be currently in there. Now it is in fact going to be TCM spawning back there in the laundry. They need to get control of that. If they don't, they're going to be in a desperate situation. But I do see, in fact, Mike is going to be the hero. He's going to rotate back in anchor for that fountain hard point. Uh, Hellstorm coming in. Rocks needs to get in this corner if he wants to survive. But no, the Hellstorm actually is, uh, I think, going to miss. I don't even have my uh, kill feed up. So this is some great stuff on my part. Let's see if I can get that up going for you guys. Um, here we go. Got the inventory up. Got the score streaks. Now I can see the score streaks. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm looking now. It is, in fact, going to be uh, Rocks with the Hellstorm. He still has that. Let me actually skim through the players. See what kind of stuff they have. Going through the players. It's going to be Rocks with a Hellstorm and a Lightning Strike. He's just one kill away from that War Machine. Going through TCM now. And uh, it's only going to be Ryder with a Hellstorm. So uh, relatively even score streaks now. Nobody really uh, at an advantage when it comes to score streaks. But as I look at the overall map, look at this 88 to 150. 188 to 150. Killerfish has, in fact, taken that lead. Doing an excellent job. And uh, I'm really interested to see uh, if Killerfish can be able to take this. TCM is a strong team. You know, I've always been impressed by the way they play every time I watch. But um, they definitely are putting in some work. Let's look at Ryder now. He's on a three kill streak now, trying to earn, uh, looks like, uh, overlap on that Hellstorm. Trying to get a lightning strike. He's going to extend through that smoke. I like this play. You know, whenever smoke goes down, I'm always a firm believer in which you need to challenge through that smoke if you want to be able to take your opponents off guard because, you know, they throw that smoke down there thinking they're going to have the advantage by pushing through. But if you just charge through the smoke, you're going to have the advantage and really the surprise factor, which can get you a couple of kills and also put your enemies at bay. On board with uh, Monks. He's on a three kill streak. We're going to see him and Marky B rotating through this mid section. It's going to be Killerfish, though, with the advantage over that mid hard point. And uh, uh, look like a Hellstorm is, in fact, going to come in, trying to clear him out. Someone goes through Graves. And that's going to be Monks picking that guy up. And uh, there it is. It's currently up for grabs. But a Hellstorm, another Hellstorm coming in. He's going to spread that apart. But Monks, with a smart dive, is going to survive, win another gunfight. And he's going to earn a Hellstorm and a Lightning Strike. And that is excellent play on his part. Really impressive uh, overall. Rocks. So it's going to be in there. Uh, currently, a lot of gunfights going on, but it's still Killerfish with the advantage on that mid hard point. 195 to 206, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to come down to the last hard point. If I had to guess, Gunny Lethal on a two kill streak gets taken out, leaving Mike over here inside this hard point. Gets taken out as well. Rich on a three kill streak over here by the brick side, just trying to lay low. 207 to 199, 20 seconds before we flip over over to the next hard point in which it's going to come down to it. Uh, it's going to be extremely close. Don't know who's going to take it. Currently, TCM in the lead right now, but you know what? Killerfish can still take this if they just flip over the spawns. Right now, they are going to be challenging for those spawn position on that left-hand side by Coffee, but still it's going to be TCM with the advantage of having that anchor position. Now, the score being 230 to 199, they need to get to work. They have just about 15 seconds remaining, and that's all they have of really wiggle room. Those 15 seconds do, in fact, pass. It is going to be TCM taking 
taken the win. As I look at the overall scoreboard, it is, in fact, mathematically impossible for Team Killerfish to make a comeback, and it's going to be TCM taking the first map. But what an exciting end. Killerfish really put up a great fight. They were down just about 70 points at the beginning of the game, but they were able to make a nice comeback and do a beautiful job in taking it to TCM. I think they did a great job with adaptation, but towards the end, it just came down to those last rotations and getting those last scrap points off those hard points and as you see it now they're just wrapping up the game putting up the overall scoreboard moxie 27 19 Ryder 31 and 24 rich 21 and 23 and the marky b 24 and 19 that's going to be your winners for the first map taking the first map one oh in this best of five over team killerfish really making their way up and i do believe do believe this is a winner bracket round uh, Chewy, if you're listening, please correct me on that, bro. If it's not a winner bracket round, I'd like to know. But guys, tweet out the stream. We're at 20 viewers. My goodness. Let's get some more people in here. You know? <laughs> Let's get some more viewers in here. I'm hoping you guys could tweet it out. I don't know. Tweet, tweet it out to... I don't know, whoever you tweeted out to. But overall, the first map went relatively well. I believe we are going to be doing Capture the Flag next. I wish we could do a listen in with these guys. Give my voice a rest. Make me drink some G Fuel so I can uh, really quench my parched mouth. Because I'm telling you, solo casting is not easy. If you guys in the chat would like to join me, let me know. I'll get you in here. Nah, I wouldn't get you in here. But I, I would like to get you in here, though. Anybody who would like to cast with me. But uh, TCM against Killer Fish. Don't know much about Killer Fish, to be quite honest with you. Now, I know they are pretty legit. They got KF in their clan tower. Excuse me, in their gamer tags. So they got to be legit. So that's what I'm thinking about Killer Fish. But uh, TCM... Uh, they're not as legit as Killerfish. As we see, Dignitas Ryder doesn't have TCM in his uh, gamer tag, so I don't know how serious we could take TCM, but I'm taking them pretty serious as they won that first game against Killerfish. I thought they did a magnificent job on the slums hardpoint. And uh, there has been some other games today. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the guy, uh, ca or excuse me, uh, producing right now did in fact produce another match that just previously happened. I believe it was Prophecy against Team uh, RNX or... Or cursor? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. If you could correct me on that, and uh, I, I'd really like to know who played and who actually won that. I'm, I'm pretty sure Prophecy won that. Here we go. And you don't know nothing. KF placed ninth at COD Champion in LA. Great stuff. I did not know that, and uh, I think that's awesome actually. Um, if they place ninth place, I, I didn't know that. Where are they from, uh, Sneaky? If you could tell me, please. I, I would like to know some more information. About about this team as I'm just improving my uh, skills when it comes to learning about all these teams. Second reflex. Hmm. Because uh, there we go. they're from Germany. Okay, very interesting. I didn't know they were from Germany. I believe TCM is from the uh, EU, so they're from Europe, uh, which is quite interesting when it comes to connection. I don't know which connection would rate better. I don't think it comes down to that, though. I think it comes down to pure skill. And I think, honestly... You know, I just made a, I made, I made, I guess I made a joke in poor taste. But Killerfish, though, they really did impress me by the way they adapted as well as rotated and broke those hard points. I thought they did a magnificent job at the way they were doing it, and I think they're a great opponent when it comes to uh, TCM. And they could, in fact, be underrated. I think they uh, honestly have some great potential. But TCM, though, really took it to them. Um, of course, this is online. I mean, there's a lot of different things that do take into effect. But it does look like we are going to be doing Raid, Search, and Destroy. I personally love this map, especially if you plant the bomb within the first 30 seconds. I think that is the uh, best thing you can do to put your opponents on their toes and also put the opponents on the pressure. And also, uh, Mark, if you could please tell them to tweet it out on the EGL stream, that would really be helpful. I haven't even tweeted out on my own stream or on my own Twitter because you don't tweet stuff out on streams, do you? No, you don't. No, you really don't. So. so